My buddy, Brad Smith, Motor City Smitty. Is this paradise or is this paradise? This is beautiful. This is unbelievable. Now, what do I call you? Mr. Toronto Maple Leaf, Mr. Detroit Red Wing, or Mr. Just Colorado? Actually, it's nice to say all those, but right now it's Mr. Fisherman. We're here fishing. This is business right here. I got time off, enjoying the beautiful scenery, and we're here fishing. That's what it's all about. I told Brad, and we hadn't seen each other for, oh, five or six years, and I said, if I get the chance, I want to get you up to Millbank Sound, right? And we're catching some fish. We're catching some coho, and we're catching some nice Chinook. Nice silver. Stick with us, because we're going fishing. I'm going fishing all the time, and my baby's going fishing, too. Bet your life that your sweet wife can catch more fish than you. And a fish will bite if you got the right bait. Now here's a little something that I'd like to relate. With my pole and my line, I'm going fishing. Yes, I'm going fishing. My baby's going fishing too. Going fishing with Daryl Cronzi is brought to you in part by Ontario. More to discover. Yamaha Motor Canada and by Abu Garcia. Closed captioning of Going Fishing is brought to you by Fish Crisp. BC's salmon sport fishery has been reborn. In fact, the trolling for coho and Chinook salmon has never been better. Today, Cronzy is joined by his good friend, ex-Maple Leaf hockey favorite Brad Smith, for an exciting day of downrigger fishing on the waters of Millbank Sound, way up on British Columbia's North Pacific coast. Millbank Sound is the melting pot for some of the finest salmon fishing in the world. Fish congregate at Millbank from all areas of the Pacific Northwest to feed on the abundant schools of herring and anchovy. A 22-pound coho caught on a bucktail fly just out from the lodge may be native to a stream on the west side of Vancouver Island, while a 69-pound spring salmon may have been born in a river as far away as Sacramento, California. Stay with us as the fishing gets hot for Cronzy and Smith at West Coast Resort's Millbank Sound. So the dodge will work for you here, eh, Daryl? Well, that's your work, buddy. Hey, and I got him on the camera. I'm looking in the camera, right? And whammo. Brad, that was down how long? Two minutes? Hey? Three minutes at the most. Is this paradise up here? Beautiful. Isn't this something, eh? I just, I love Millbank. Brad, I think it's one of the finest places in BC. You know what, Brad? Hey, I had that down not more than, I'll bet you two minutes. And I told you this flasher's hot. I just hooked it up. I just hooked the camera into the downrigger, looked down, and there's the salmon. Nice fish. What do you like better, coho or springs? Oh, I think they catch a big spring right now. The cohos are a lot of fun. They jump up and down, and pretty lively. This one's yeah, kind of dogging one, on this you. This one's dogging it. Oh, he's got that flasher in front of him. There's strong fish here. You know that? And we're gonna talk about Lake Ontario later. Remember the good old days? The good old days. The good old days, when the ministry knew what they were doing and we had a good fishery out there. This fish give me a tough time, Daryl. This fish give me a tough time. Tell you what, you get the next one, buddy. Want me to get the net? You get the net, Brent. Nice strong fish. You got him, Brent? Nice fish. Nice fish, nice coho. Nice fish. Strong fish, Brad. Now, are you, you're, you're used to netting salmon like this, hey, buddy? You're not gonna lose this Pull the net boat? back here like that. You don't want too much net in the water. <laughs> get ready, Brad. Take one swoop at him right here. We should get him right here. Get him? We got him. Nice coho, eh, pal? Beautiful fish. Isn't that a dandy? You know, Brad and I just got out. We haven't been out here five minutes, right? And I said, coho, no, that's a spring. So put, just lay him back in the water. Okay, we won't hurt him. And I'm gonna get him up here, Brad. Dandy fish. Give me a fish. Oh, 
Let him out of there. There he goes. Now, he's big. gone. He's gone. Nice fish. That, nice fish. That fish may have been 10 to 12 pounds. We let him go. He's got another year left in her, or him, right? Come back uh, next year, you may see a 30 pound fish here. Maybe 35. Maybe 35. Jill, good job. Let's go for it, buddy. First time I see a big fish like that, Let's buddy. Go good for job. It. <laughs> Getting there is brought to you by Ontario. More to discover. As can be expected when traveling to British Columbia, flying is the best means of transportation when reaching Vancouver. From Vancouver, you can catch a connecting flight to Millbank Sound. That usually means taking a jet from Vancouver to Bella Bella and then grabbing a float plane the rest of the way to the floating resort. Oh, no, he's still there. Brad, 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 Mr. Smith. You're gonna, it's okay, go ahead, go ahead, Daryl. Go, 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 go get him, Daryl. I'll tell you what, buddy, I, him, buddy. I love go, those go flashers. Look at this guy. <laughs> hey, I didn't hit the camera hooked up and bang. I just put the walker down. Brad, this action's hot here. I'm not so sure it's just Steve Gotti. You guys got a great guy here with Steve here today, and uh, or maybe just me in the boat with you for a change. <laughs> Get that net, Smitty. Brad, I'll tell you what. Pound for pound, it's hard Watch to Watch I get behind guys. a little bit more, Daryl. Okay. Hang on one second. Gotta bring his nose up there. Hang on, pal. Hang get on. Get behind me, big guy. You got there him? You go. I got him. You got him? Got him. Nice coho, eh? Hook just slipped out, too, I think. I'll tell you what. Don't let that thing slip out because that's going in the cooler. That's a nice coho. Good job. You know, Brad and I Colossal haven't been job. out. Colossal job. <laughs> Want to go, big guy? Come how, on. How long have we been out, honestly, guys? <laughs> Ten minutes? Two fish? Maybe. <laughs> Two fish? nice fish. Nice, yeah. nice spring and nice coho. Nice coho. Nice coho. Real nice coho. Now, there's that's going to go maybe 13 pounds. Nice fish. Dandy fish, Brad. Can you get him out of there without getting hooked? Well, hold him. We'll, we'll get him this way. Look, bring him up. Oh. I got him. Nice fish, Joe. Isn't that nice? Nice fish. Hey? Now, look at Got the sea lice on him still, and the scales. Are, whoa, don't lose him. It's okay. It's the, okay. The, the scale, I don't there's want a lot, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of fish out there. <laughs> the scales are falling off this fish, though. Beautiful. These, fish. these fish are still fresh. Beautiful fish. Hey, they dandy, nice and sleek. Let's give him the box. Get him in the box. You gonna give him the bunk? Where's the box? You gonna give him the bunk? Oh, sure, let's give him a little bunk. Give me a hand first. Nice job. Nice again. job. Let's go for it. Buddy, what is that? That's hockey. That's hockey. That's, That's fishing. Hockey. That's, That's fishing. hockey. That's fishing. That's not hockey. Is this paradise up here or is this paradise? Beautiful. This beautiful country. I'm glad to be here. It's a great, uh, great treat. Uh, miss my little girl, Lexi and Laney, back home, but uh, mom's taking care of me. It's just good to be out here with good people. I'm just here for a good time. What happened was I had, a, I had one extra trip to come up to Millbank, and I was talking to my wife, and I said, who should I take? And she said, well, why don't you take Smitty? You haven't seen Smitty for a long time. How long has it been since we've seen each other? It's probably five, six years. Five, six years, we keep in contact every six months. You never call me, I always gotta call you because you're afraid to uh, spend the dime, but uh, <laughs> we're out here having a good time and uh, he brought me for one reason. He knew Steve was gonna be out here, he knew the big guy was gonna be out here, and we're putting fish in the box. <laughs> and, and I gotta say something, when Smitty was playing with the Leafs, right, you were also guiding out of Port Credit, right? Correct. You, got, you were doing some salmon chartering up there and you gained a reputation as a charter boat skipper, right? And tell them what you're doing right now. I work with the Colorado Avalanche, and uh, we're um, we're pretty busy in the off season right now. We've got a lot of work to do, and uh, we had a subpar playoff last year. We're trying to build our team back up and uh, get back to be a Stanley Cup contender. And I can tell you something else. This is an expensive trip. It's on me, but I expect plenty of Colorado tickets when they're playing in Toronto. Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it outside the blue line. Gretzky, or or Hull never had to worry that any of their records would fall with Brad Smith's arrival to the National Hockey League. But one thing is for certain, Motor City Smitty was one of the all-time favorites with fans. It seems to have something to do with his never-say-quit attitude. Without a doubt, Smitty's fame was best achieved with the Leafs. Here's a highlight from the past where Smith kept the blue and white in the playoff hunt with a little fancy footwork. minutes ago, Brad and I were talking, and I says, we put a cut bait on, and all that is is the herring that's, you know, the head cut off, and it's slowly rotating down there. 
But, but I told you, look what's happening. And we had a salmon, right? And I said, take the camera, Brad. And that salmon was actually swimming around down there with the herring in its mouth, but it wasn't popping the ride. It took, it took the bait right off the hooks. It took, well, I said, all of a sudden, I can't see the bait. And when I talked to the guide, and I said, I'll bet you the salmon took it off. Now, the downrigger's down there, right? With ready, ready to, it's in that cocked position waiting for the fish to come along and, and grab it. And Daryl, in hockey, we'd call that a smoothie. He just kind of smoothed that bait right off us without us even knowing other than seeing him and that kind of stuff. The rod even bent at all. Yeah, I mean, the rod's bent, ready to, to spring oh, up, sure. right? No, 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 no. No action the rod. We know what's going on. We know when the fish hits and that kind of stuff. A lot Nothing. of people expect, well, the salmon's down there, he automatically comes and hits it, and the rod goes off, and you fight the fish. We're seeing with the strike vision, salmon swimming around, right? And we don't even know they've got the bait in their mouth. With the bait in his mouth. And how big was that fish you lost, that last one? Well, Daryl, I lose a lot of fish, but I'm out here having a good time today, and I'm having a great time. Look at it. How can I have a great time? It's beautiful. Isn't it's it beautiful. Piece of paradise, eh? The rocks, the coral, the salmon down below. Let's get back to work here. We've got some fishing to do. You get the next fish. I guess I do. Watch the rod. Let me get grab the rod, because last time we, Watch you the lost ride. it. <laughs> Smitty, hit it hard, Smitty, hit it hard, Smitty! Smack him! I got it. Set that hook. You lose that when you're going overboard. Nice fish, Brad. You go. Is he still there? Yeah, it's not big fish, though. A little coho? It's a little baby. No, I don't know. She's, look at the scrap. Look at this. Now, that's what I like about coho. You know that? I don't want you. How's your heart? Hey? Eh? Nice fish. It is a nice fish. Look at this thing. Surprise thing to fight more. Eh? Nice fish. Get him over here. Just watch him. Hang on. Oh. Bring him up. Hang on. He's not right. I can't, I can't go anymore with the fish. I got him, Brad. I got him. Get back here. Nice fish, nice buddy. Coho. Nice, nice fish, buddy. Coho. Just you know what? Nice fish. Surprised you didn't. Uh... Now, what we were saying, Brad, is these fish a lot of times are not coming in and just walloping it. They're sitting there. I said to you, you see that fish doing that little well, jig there? Steve, Steve was putting down the one bait there. He, he, Steve's the one that got it and uh, 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 saw it, and it just uh, finally released. We uh, went on a boat. It, uh, it's there. Here we go. He's going on ice. Let's put him on ice. Put her here, buddy. Good job. Good buddy. job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Good job Steve. <laughs> Going Fishing returns in a moment. Double header, Smitty! What do you got, a spring or a coal, Brett? Oh, we got a spring. We got to yeah, go in here. I don't know what I got. He's down on the bottom. You know what? I got a, I got a decent fish, but this may be a, well, this may be a spring. Look at this. Mine's playing right. possum right now. Mine went up pretty good right away, but it's playing possum now. It's it? bulldogging now right close to the boat here. You know what? We were looking in the camera. It's right here. He came to the boat. He, came, <laughs> he, came right, he walked right to the boat. He walked right to the boat. <laughs> we're going to let the guide handle the nets on this one. You get... Go for it, Brad. <laughs> Good sized fish, Brad. You look like 15, Daryl. What it? Spring or a coho? Only a spring what? to me. Tell you what, mine's going for the for the kelp. Look at this guy. Coho. Coho. Nice and strong. Nice fish. A small spring. Oh, I tell you what, Brad. Whoa. I could. <laughs> See that thing jump? Did you get him? <laughs> I don't want this guy over there. I got a better one. I got one here. I'm, here's a keeper. Look at this spring. Now tell me, I'm going to use this word one last time. Is this paradise or is this paradise? This is hockey. This is hockey. This is fishing, buddy. Well, yeah, but this is, yeah, I think you've been in the corner too many times. Hockey means paradise. Hockey means paradise. Oh, is that what it means? I think you've been in the corner too many times. You can't tell the difference between fishing and hockey. Now, you never got this on Lake Ontario, did you? Is this nice fish? <laughs> this is colossal. <laughs> this is colossal. Is that what this is? <laughs> you know, we just sit down to have a sandwich, right? And look what happens. Okay, Brad, now I'm going to back up so you can get the net around this guy. Eh? Hang on one sec, because he's going to run again. Hang on, Brad. 
Now listen, Mr. Go behind, Smith. Watch, go behind me, I'm Darryl. right where you want to be. Watch, go behind me. Just get in there and get the net on him. Oh, get Jeez. the net on that baby. Brad, look at this fish. Nice fish. If it jumps out of the net, you're going to have nice fish. You're going to be going for a swim. Nice fish. I got the fish. Bring right behind me. I'll get him behind me. Hoof him right in here. Nice fish. Hold eh? him up like this. Oh, yeah? Is, is that the Brad Smith net technique? Look at what. Good now, look fish. at this guy's been grabbed. Look at this. Good fish. Brad, I want to show you something. Take my ride for one sec, please. I'm gonna look at this. Now, this is going to go, I don't know, maybe. I don't know whether it'll go 30. It's right up there, anyways. But look at this seal bite, eh? Now, I was in Ottawa for a little presentation about a year ago with the fisheries minister, and we got around talking about seals. And he said to me, what do you think the main problem is on the East Coast? And I said, seals. And the tree huggers, remember they stopped the seal hunt, right? And he said, yeah, we got a real problem. We're going to let the native people harvest the seals. And I said, what about BC? And he says, we don't have a problem with seals in BC. And I says, what world are you living in? Well, there you go, right there. There you John. go. Perfect, perfect example you know? right there, yeah. But we do have a problem with seals. And, and don't get me wrong, I love seals. I love eating seal flippers, you know? <laughs> but at the same time, we've got to control the seals. Gerald, great job. Let's tag him up. Let's go back go fishing. Are we uh, going to go out and get a big one? Let's go get him. Come on. That's the, the big one's right we now. We started, Daryl. Come on. Let's go get him. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You this, ready is to go? This, this is hockey. <laughs> this is hockey. This is hockey. And now for the Montana's Cookhouse tip of the week. Trolling speed is imperative for midsummer salmon success. Keep your boat moving between 2.2 and 3 miles per hour whenever possible. You know what? We just put this. We just put the stick in the water. Seriously, the stick's <laughs> the stick's two feet in the water, and a fish just hooks. It's it's incredible. This is unbelievable. I, I mean, did I not say paradise? No, seriously. We just put the stick in the water. I mean, <laughs> it I mean, wasn't even went, down. It wasn't put down two feet, and here and here we hooked up again. Smitty, it's fun. You know, really, there's so many fish here, you really don't even have to fish for them. The rigger wasn't in the water. I know, you never even had it down. Right here. sitting on the surface. You come over here, look at the rigger. The rigger was in the water, and the gold hit it right off the surface. <laughs> Having fun, buddy? It's great. It's colossal. <laughs> oh. you know, you're seriously, not of all, all, all the cohos we've caught today, this has been the most active one. <laughs> it really has been, Daryl. You want this one for the cooler? Or? Look at him! Look at him jump in the water! Look at him! Seriously! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> Don't have a heart attack! Don't no, get no, no, excited! No, seriously! Look at him! <laughs> Do you I want? I remember watching Red Fisher when I was a kid. He used to say, "A healthy horse." This is more than a healthy horse, Red. <laughs> Listen. Do you want this one in the cooler? We'll put him on look, here. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him. This, that's a good. This, this is a good fish. Look at it. That's a good. This is a good fish. Don't get excited. <laughs> Is this, is this a lot of fun? <laughs> somebody that's, got smacked. That's why I call somebody, it a knuckle somebody, buster. Somebody. I got smacked. <laughs> Played in the league for years. That would hurt. <laughs> that would hurt. I told you, stay away from the rotating drum. You'll be sore in the morning. This is a, a real fighting fish, Brad. This is a good one. He, <laughs> he, did you get he's hit not, again? He's not, look at him, look at him. He's not coming near here. Did you get hit again? I hit again. <laughs> Now he's, tied up. now he's yeah, wrapped. He's, yeah, he's going to wrap. Just he'll unwrap. Just lift him a little. He'll just unroll. Look at he's that. He's really a wrap. Like up. a big accordion. Now just get ready. He's going to go off again. Watch this. <laughs> I think we should put him in the box. Put him in the okay? box. Get him in here. You get him over here, and I'll. Did I not tell you? You know, Daryl, you said a lot of things about me. <laughs> One time, two times, Lake Ontario skipper of the year. Okay. <laughs> Everything's in control yeah, those, here. Those fish are a little slow down Lake Ontario compared to these. Get that fish over here, will you? Okay, well, why not walk behind you, Daryl? <laughs> okay, okay, let's go walk behind, behind go okay? Behind me. You know. How's the knuckles, buddy? Start, <laughs> this is starting to be a gong show. Okay. <laughs> we got him? I got him. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, and again, this is no fish story. I was putting a fish about 30 pounds in the box. That rod was not down. It was just hanging over the side of the boat and bang. <laughs> Just put the water. We, we show the cannonballs right there. We took a picture of it right there, right on top of the water. Lots of fun, Brad. Hey, okay. nice fish. These coho are really spunky. Uh, nice fish, Mr. Smith. Daryl, calm down. Brad, nice northern coho, eh? Beautiful, beautiful fish. You know, it's so much fun up here, and it is exciting. Like, where else can you go? One minute you're fighting a 25-pound spring, and as you go to put it in the boat, you got a lure dangling over the back of the boat, and you catch a coho. I've never this kind of fish in my life before. <laughs> this has been this has been this has been awesome. And, and look look at this coho. It's a it's a beautiful fish. And uh, this, but it's the first coho that really really took the bait. The the, the ball didn't touch the water, and, and this fish take off. <laughs> Tell you what, put that fish in the ice box for yourself, it. will you? Do it. You got him. Why don't you? Doesn't bite you. 
Paradise, Mr. Smith, paradise. Going Fishing returns in a moment. Mr. Toronto Maple Leaf, Darryl. Ron Ellis. Pleasure, Daryl. Hey, it's been my pleasure. I've <laughs> never had so much fun in a week. Uh, this event you guys have got, right? Uh, it's GNA events. Yes, uh, Jeff Godden uh, from GNA has just done a wonderful job. He approached myself at the Hall of Fame. Jeff and I had met at another event, and he came up with this concept. The Hall of Fame loved the concept, and here we are. What's better than to have? And I'm going to probably forget a couple guys. You got Henderson. Bathgate, Orlando, or is there, right? Vaughn. When we thought of what players to invite, we wanted to definitely have a representation from the Hall of Fame. So we have two Hall of Famers, Andy Bathgate, Daryl Sittler. This is the 30th anniversary of Team Canada 72. So we thought our clients, our guests, would enjoy hearing some of the stories that the series Paul and I played in together. And then we wanted to have a Leaf representative, and that's Bobby Bond. And we were so fortunate to get uh, one of the Vancouver Canucks to join us because a lot of some of the folks on the trip are from the West Coast. And uh, Orlin Curtinback came along and he just filled out the squad beautifully. Now, what's better than to have you guys? Honestly, in my opinion, and I, and I follow hockey still, right? <laughs> but I don't care what anybody says. And, I, and you know, I, I could get myself in trouble. <laughs> the original six, right? That's where it started. That's where it started. And you had six teams with the best players in the world. Darrell, I played three years in the old six-team league, and I cherished that. Uh, we didn't make a lot of money, but I would throw the money away just to have played in those three years. Um, I think why a trip like this is attractive and successful, the executives that are with us, they grew up with us. They had our cards. They played flipsies with them, and they had their idols and their heroes, and I think they connected with us as they were growing up and, and uh, stepping up the ladder in their career. And I really think that's the main reason we've made a connection here. I'm going to use a word you don't hear a lot, but it was gaga. These guys that, you know, paid the dollars <laughs> to come and, and, and fish with you guys, they were mesmerized. I mean, yes. you guys were their heroes, are their heroes, and, and I think we had a great time. Now, where does the money go that, that, was, that was raised here? Well, I'm not too sure if many people realize this, but the Hockey Hall of Fame is a not-for-profit company, we have a charitable status, and we've partnered up with Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. So both of these groups will uh, receive uh, uh, some of money to put to good use. Our, our role at the Hockey Hall of Fame is to preserve the history of the game, to honor the builders and the players that have made the game great, and uh, then Canadians and Americans can come through our Hall of Fame and, and feel, feel proud when they walk through. And we're going to do this again? I'm telling you right now, we, we are, when we get back from the trip, we are going to get together and, and have a little post-mortem on the trip, but already we are making plans for next year. You and Jeff Godden did one, <laughs> and I can say this, and it, it may get me in trouble on TV, you guys did one hell of a job this week. and went to well, charity and then went to the Hall of Fame, and i got to thank you. And we appreciate you being with us um, to help us promote our event, and I know you and your crew, we got Dougie here, have done a wonderful job as well. Thank it's you been very a great much. team. Well, we're going fishing too, eh? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you very much. Going Fishing has been brought to you by Yamaha Motor Canada, Montana's Cookhouse, and by Berkeley Trilee. Going Fishing would like to thank going the following fishing. fine sponsors. Going